Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you PHP filters. So PHP filter basically filter out the data. It uh, does it by either sanitizing it or by validating it. So what do you mean by these two terms that is sanitizing and validating? So validation is like to check that uh, data is in correct format like a uh, email has a format so is it in uh, correct format and on the other hand sanitization sanitization will remove some characters like uh, if i'll talk about let's say it's about just integer so it will remove all the characters from your input so you can see there are four type of filters first one is validate then sanitize other and filter flags so i'll be showing you uh, filter validate in this video so here you can see a list of filters for validation that you can apply you can see there is domain there is email and there are many more so let me show you by code so to apply filter in php we will be using one function that is filter where and inside that we will be passing our variable and second one is what type of validation we want to use on that variable so write one variable and inside that I'm going to write one email. So let's say kt at the rate gmail.com. Pass that variable and after that I'm going to pass my filter. Let's say filter validate email. So here it will check for the format of email. So it will check like at the rate is present, dot is present. So now let's hold this into a variable and now let me print that. So now refresh. Now you can see my email is printed here. So if I'll remove at the rate, now you can see there is no result. So let me just write where dump as well. So here you can see it's giving a bull that is false. So here you can write one if condition. Let's say if for email format is correct, then do something. And if it's not current, then you can give error or you can just redirect to your another page or anything. So now next, uh, let's uh, check for integer type. So type one integer number and pass filter validate int. So now refresh. Now you can see integer is printed. Let me just write some character in this and then uh, refresh now you can see error uh, it's like a boolean and false value is coming so now let's uh, check for float type now so write uh, let's say dot 89 and pass filter validate float now let's go and uh, refresh now you can see float is like printed now let me just write some another let's say float and refresh now you can see it's giving a false error and even with filters you can also validate a url so let me just write filter validate url and inside that i'm just passing the same url so now if i'll refresh you can see it's a correct format but if i'll remove http and now if i'll refresh now you can see it's giving a false because it is not in the correct format so I have shown you some basic filter validation. So you can just go through the documentation and have a look at other validations as well that you can apply using filters. So if I'll talk about filters, filters are really good for security as whenever like a user is submitting form, if you will validate every input in that form, then only validated data will go to your server and your security will increase with that so that's all in this video i hope you like this video so if you have any doubt related to this topic then comment down below so thank you for watching take care